So if you were a serious EDH player, you would definitely have Jeweled Lotus. It was basically reprinted in, I forgot it was a reprint, but it was reprinted as a chase card. Uh, in fact, it was the chase of the chases, the textured chase in Commander Master. Without Jewel Lotus, Commander Master is a worthless set. No other card is even above $50 as of this moment. And a lot of people are disappointed uh, that the Jewel Lotus and the Mana Crypt, uh, they got banned. These are massive cards. Again, I think Mana Crypt, everyone has one just because of how many reprints it has and how long it's been around and how good it's been in EDH. The Rules Committee... I mean, that's who's making this. Uh, supposedly, they're a separate branch of Hasbro. I do not know what their relationship is. I know that the other guy, Sheldon, rest in peace, he never made a band like this before. So I get the Jewel Lotus. I get the Mana Crypt. They're trying to sell more product. It couldn't be more obvious that they're coming up with a new Mana Crypt soon. Uh, here's Wizards of the Coast. Are you exploring ancient runes? It's, it's a bait and switch, right? They say, hey, look at this amazing card for your ED8 deck. Do you want it? Do you want it? And the, again, the Ixalan set, which Alpha Investment has said is a great set. And uh, it's gone, done very well. It's because of Mana Crypt. There's nothing else of value in these set. Like when you have a magic set, they, they're, it's one or two chase cards and, and that's it. Most times it's one chase card. Here's the guy. I promise you Bands and Commander have a longer discussion and debate period than three weeks. They've been talking about end of August, which is very interesting. If that timeline is correct, then why the hell is Wizards of the Coast promoting when they know that these cards are going to get banned? So, so the Rules Committee is saying that it will be at the end of August they started talking about banning Mana Crypt. Well, what came out in September? You know of uh, 2023 so yeah uh is the end of august 2024 somebody check on that it's got to be right is that correct well anyway i obviously have these cards it, it, it kind of sucks right i don't have the textured black lotus because i are the textured jewel lotus because i was never able to pull one and one never came into my store but i do have that mana crypt which at one point in time, buy list was 550. Now people want to sell it for 500 or less. And where's the bottom? The bottom is unknown, right? And the dock side, dude, I have a ton of the dock side. So I got effed. You know, I've even pulled a ton on the camera. This just shows you, like, just the greed, the pure greed. The, the reason they're doing this is they sold as much Commander Master as possible. They're not going to sell no more of that set, right? It's an older set. They sold as much of Ixlon as possible. They're not going to sell more of the set. It's an older set. And now there's time to make a new version of Mana Crypt. Now it's time to make a new version of the Jewel Lotus and try to get you to buy it. And then again, they're going to dump it in two to three years. That's the plan because they don't make money from singles, supposedly. They make money from people opening booster boxes to get singles. And they need to continue this path, right? So now everyone has two missing cards in their EDH deck. Like if you are a serious EDH competitor, you have these two cards. What are they going to ban next? The dual land? I wouldn't put it past them. They're, dumb. They're that dumb, right? The rules committee, who we don't know who they are. I think it's like some, does anyone know who the rules committee is? Because um, I do not. I do not know who they are, and I think that in terms of what is going on with them, I think they want to make a big splash and big beat the big boys around town right now. I would ask you this. How much did the rules committee sell? So did any of these people sell Mana Crypts? Did any of these people sell uh, the cards they were banning, like Jewel Lotus? Right? Um... I don't know. I do not know. But it would be interesting to do a little bit of research into that and figure out uh, whether or not a, uh, they did that. Because they might, they might have inside information. They might have inside information 
that we do not know. And it would be incredible if they came out later that they were just wheeling and doing Because these are high-value cards. We're not talking about like $5, $10 cards. These are cards that you can actually make money on. In fact, I remember like there was like one card shop that I think it was like Card Kingdom and they had like $10,000 mana crypt stolen from them. Something crazy like that. Um, it was, in my opinion, just absolutely bonkers how many mana crypts that one dude stole. So I wonder like if he, he's probably the only one who didn't know a card game takes his insurance. Like a lot of people should have known what was happening here, right? A lot of people should have known uh, that, like, because the rules committee, they have friends and they tell their friends. You, you understand how it is, right, with these individuals, right? They like to be powerful and they gossip. And so I wonder if there actually is a price shift on uh, Commander Masters, uh, these Jewel Lotuses. The texture one would be most obvious where they are. There's more of a the market. They're buy listing into stores. And they know that it's going to be banned. I'm always very concerned when you have a group of people unidentified and they are banning whatever card they want. The other part is, should we listen to these people? Like, do these people know what's good for the game? Do they know? Like, obviously, we are listening to those people because you look at the price of everything as tanked. Um, and especially the, you know, these have tanked. I mean, it's been bloody for the mana crypts right the man i didn't even know that these mana crypts existed until today and i was like holy shit they're very expensive fifteen thousand dollars now is that the real price or is that the ask price regardless uh if you are a serious edh player or you are an edh player you have at least the mana crypt right but the jewel lotus you probably have too so we have a very um very interesting scenario playing itself right uh, out right now and the interesting scenario is would you uh, be okay with them doing this there, there's a lot of power and it seems like they're gonna they have the power and leverage to ban any card and there's no nothing sacred to them like who is this rules committee who chose the this rule committee right um like, who chose these people? Who are these people? Does anyone know? I don't know. Um, but, you know, I, I think uh, in in terms of what they've been banning, um, they've been banning a lot. Uh, they've been banning just... These two cards are just epic cards. and They feel good when you play them. I, I guess that's the best way I can put it. They're not, they're not chum cards. They're, they feel good when you play them. People have played them for a long time. People love them. Uh, these are some of the most beloved cards in EDH, right? And yeah, sad to see this happen, but it is what it is. Anyway, let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Bye, guys.